Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hey everyone, it's Test Tube, and we are back. Welcome to another Stanley Cup. Wait, this is not Stanley Cup. What is this? What is it about? <laughs> Let's go from the beginning. Hey everybody, Test Tube here, and this is NHL Rival Week on EA Sports. This is the next matchup as I'm about to be presenting you the next team as we're about to be seeing this matchup. As we saw back in the West Coast, we saw the Sharks playing against the Kings and this was their rival matchup in the California section. But now, the Sharks have appearance and they are facing against the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, this is what we're doing, because since they ever entered it, and their appearance for the Golden Knights in 2017 was the first one, the Knights quickly established a rivalry with the Sharks right away. Then, the next thing happened. Vegas eliminated the Sharks in the second round of the 2018 Western Conference Playoffs in the heat of the physical series of San Jose. But now, they definitely have it returned. In 2019, the Sharks definitely eliminated the Vegas one in, in seven games in a row. This was a lot of heavy takes in between of the San Jose Sharks and the Vegas Golden Knights. This is how hard this is. I never see what everybody is doing it like that. But in that case, it's going to be a really challenge run, but they are trying to figure out which team are they going for. Well, I'm hoping there's one way that if the Golden Knights may have that win. And we love that the Golden Knights win the whole thing in a Stanley Cup, beating the Florida Panthers, and they are the best team. They finally win their Stanley Cup champions, and they were part of 2023. But let's find out how well they do. The starting goaltenders in between uh, Mackenzie Blackwood and Logan Thompson will be the start run to take. Now I will send you down over to T-Mobile Arena. Standing by is Terry Crews, along with Son of Beast. And the third commentator of the crew, I have this cool beast. And the center ice will be all turned out. It's fan. I'll see you all later for the post-game show right after this. Now enjoy this matchup at T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Terry Crews. We're here in Vegas town. The home of the Las Vegas Golden Knights. And they are ready to face on against the other team of the Sharks. It's about that time as the Vegas Raider team has a set and ready to go. Along with me, Terry Crews and Center Beast, and along with Cool Beast, this is NHL Royal Week on EA Sports. Let's do this. We start off with a run here for Eklund. He lost that puck in Brienne. Angelo will have that puck inbound. In a Sharks territory as Hurdle takes it back. Eklund takes it over. He's now on the other side looking for some more room to find again the Hurdle shot. First stop comes up by Thompson. Emerson blocked the puck and it's now Eichel with the puck. And raging towards the center. Great shot stopped away and now it's Zettelin with the puck. The Sharks are back in the offensive zone as Marnes blocked that shot. Here's Martinez, he'll have it here. Take the pass to Barbashev. Marchit Salt with the puck. Loses the possession and it goes right again to Pachangelo. Pachangelo to Marchit Salt and a range shot! Oh, it's Cochran with the save! That'll be a starting goaltender for the Sharks. And a start run of his appearance. It's still a no school, no goals in the game for the start of the first period as this one continues. McNabb has a puck. Fires a shot. That one turns to be a block away as Andini has a puck. Here's Andini a shot. Hit the stop pad with the puck. An easier look if you're looking for Thompson to give it off to McNabb. And this one really has to be turning things off. If you wanted to give that one a go look, you have to give that one a good credit run to try to keep it out. Guerrero finds again to declare. Now he finds Andina. Over now to Ferrara. He starts to clear and now in the 2-on-1 zone. Saved by the goaltender. 
Theodore recovers the puck and now finds McNabb. He now gives off to Stephenson. Stevenson right into the right side of his own. Stone on O'Harris. That one blocks up the shot. Stephenson. Get back to Emerson. And now finding Ferraro. Ferraro lost that puck and Howden will have it. He fires the puck around the net. Rebounded by Ferraro. The Sharks are back in the offense zone, trying to pick up more room. Hutton will have that puck behind the net. Behind it is White Cloud. Lost that puck this time, and it's now Connor with the rebound. Emilio with the puck. He finds back to Emerson, and now over again to Hoffman. Hoffman right toward the right wing. He went down. Carlson takes it over and finding Emilio. Emilio's got a puck here. In the center zone, shot, cut, would it save? This one's a tough one to range on that side. I must say the Cochran has really been turning like this thing out. That pressure's going to be a hard one to take. Ready for the face-off now. It's still no score to game with only 14.26 to go. The win puts up again. White Cloud shot stopped bay by Cochran. He now finds Marchessault. Loses the puck. Eiffel shot went wide. Stern with the puck in range into the corner finding Smith. And that one sails out of here. And the face-off's coming up. Both teams are set, ready for the face-off, with just under 14 minutes to go. Glad to have this one a little bit of a change, or a little bit of a center ice if they make it fancy. I love this one, and because I am known for the Vegas Golden Knights, they were really like a professional then, they were really enjoying this so far. Just to realize it, I'm really happy to have that. They were all for pay for money. Zero recovers the puck, tries to look inside, Backhander, lost that puck. Potangelo right over into the right side and now finding Barbashev. He's right on the one-on-one side. What a slot. Holds it again. Barbashev finding again to Eichel. On the backhand, Winter down. No penalty called on San Jose Sharks. Ruda has that puck. He gives it up to Addison. And now it's with Zetterling. He's on his way down to the right side of the wing. Pass to get an Addison shot. Save me. Comes big by Thompson. Then uh, now finds Grindler. Over now the barrel shot. He scores. And Santina will have this first goal for the Sharks. They're not really enough to maintain it. As you know what the Sharks do. They put their offense on the hustle. That was a start run for the San Jose team. You see what the deflection does? Because that really has to turn like this pass. And that shot turned it right in it. He just hit it right from it in the bound and that deflected right toward the goaltender and in the net. It's really that clear. I must tell you right now that Sandino really had that good percentage. Might look for another one to keep an eye on. Vegas wins the net, wins the faceoff as Michangelo has it now again to step and say. He finds again a holiday on a shot. We're going to give a step and step. Big save back for Cochran. Randall lost that puck. Gets a big slam toward the court. Leaves it outside. He finds Duclair now in the middle. On the back shot. Hayo will take his first stop. That will be a starting goaltender for the Golden Knights. Both teams set, ready for the faceoff. 11.03 left to go as the Sharks have a 1 0 over Vegas. Wynn puts it in. Lock that shot. Great work out there. You've got Cutter. And now in the center. Looking in. Oh, Kakone made a save this time. That is a good one to stop the run. Ready for the faceoff. Really have to maintain it big out there. Oh, wow. He lost that helmet right away. I can see that clear. That is like a big hit. Yeah, I definitely drew that one in here, that. <laughs> With a win, here's Emerson. 10.43 left to remain in the first period as Declare has it. Loses that puck. Declare shot. Hill with the stop save. Then Dina give back to Ferrara. And Emerson 
Cross that puck. Might go for a one. He's on a breakaway chain. Carlson, blocked by Cochran. Pass at midway mark of the period. Still one nothing of the Sharks. They're still looking for another shot to take. In between for the Vegas and for San Jose in the rival mic of the matchup. Here's McNabb. Shot stopped by Cochran. Hoffman with the puck here in the center ice. McNabb's got it now into the Vegas territory. Amelia with the puck. Now Frank Carlson gloved up by Cochran. Nine ten to remain in the first period. Still have a lot of time for the for the Knights to try to find out to get their goal. Face-off win for the Sharks, and Addison will have that puck. Fires it out of the net. The Knights will have their position, and it's now it's Theodore. Give off to Emedio. Emedio had lost that one, but can't find it open. Putin is battling. Hill makes the pass save. Great stop right for the Golden Knights. That's blocked away. Tries to stop one, it's Hill makes another save. Easy amount, and you can call that kill was really like all to his intentional work. That speed when turning like a big time saving, and that's really like a lot of change off. Great work on the defense. They're trying to make them clear, and they got a lot of like pressure to maintain. Ruta lost that one as a, a video. We'll have that puck. Ruda has that puck. Sharks takes it over as Kugan and give it to Zetterlin. New line change for the Vegas Knights. Eichel to Barbashev. Oh, we can't go around this time. Addison takes the puck over. It's nowhere out. There's a lot of a hard restriction on this obstacle course. They have to look for somewhere else. They can't leave and go right through the man. That's not going to help and get your team into position. Loses the puck in possession. Near the blue line is McNabb. Michael Cochran and save again. A 6.04 left to go in his first period. No goal take for the Knights. Officials of the game said they're ready for another faceoff into the Sharks' territory. Here's a win as, as Alkoyuk. And Granlin will have it. He off to Zandina. Zandina gets to Burroughs, and now again to Alkayuk. He's in the race now. Hill makes a stop. Petrangelo recovers that puck and now finds Martinez. To Salt to Ico. One on one advantage with the collision, and it goes right to the Sharks' territory. Burroughs with the puck and now over again to Duclair. Five minutes remaining in the first period, still looking for a lot of time left. Brandon shot. Hill makes a stop. For Changela, try to keep off the step and save. Loses that one. Ooh, he almost made a goal. That was a close call. But that went right by him. Not indeed. And anybody know that? Because Phil was trying to like get the goal right out of him. But he doesn't want that. That was seriously close. Yeah, I know that was really hard enough. But not to say what it is, cool piece. You've got to like take him down for sure. Well, I guess it might be. You never know. Stephens in with the puck with only 3.40 left to go. Fires it around the net. Ferraro battling for the loose puck. Recover. And back to Howden. No shot made. Burroughs takes it over. Tries to keep it out of the range in sight to Smith. Burroughs shot. Hill makes a save. We're under three minutes remaining in the first period. Trying to look for a clear open view. Here's the call, we have his fan. Michael has a one of an enforceable stop mate as he's got a great percentage of his speed. This might be a tough range and you may never get it at that point. Eklund scores! That's his third goal in a career. Make it two. And he had that one for the night. The big off moment after the face off draw, this one blocked and that turned off to go with the lead.
Watch from here, and you can get that face off right away. You get it clearer, and you grab that puck you got in mind. Well, watch what happens now. You have it all to give it off to for as Ferraro. We really have that one assist, but it was all turning out. Eklund had that goal. Turned out great, and he did. 2 0 self score run, and here's Roy on shot. Roy makes that stop by Cochran. Ferraro and is on his way down, passing the blue line. Stops him down. Button with the puck. Spins it over. Now finds Roy. Here's another take. Pass to Kosar. Shot! Kaplan and save me! Under two minutes remaining in the first period. So looking to get a goal for the Vegas Knights. They're set, ready for any day. And the win for the Sharks. Zetterlin has that puck here into the offensive territory. Looks like on a run, trying to beat him. Rebound, puts up for Hutton after a save made by Hill. Make him clear, easier one. You gotta make sure that you're all set. But because of what Hill does, he's gotta do something else. He scores! March it saw a closing quarter in the first period. Now has their team on board. You never noticed when Marchessault was able to do that. That really has to be putting it right in between. This range was like, oh my goodness, I can't tell you how, what happened to Cockroden, but it did like, it went from pinging in and it went right toward the net. That was a great goal for Marchessault, and you can't believe it, and what goes now? Vegas Knights are on the board. It's a 2 1 game with 1 12 to go. Eichel wins the faceoff as Vegas has their possession. Fedor fighting again, or now with to Barbashev with one minute to go. With the shot, oh, it's Cochran with that glove save. We really got that one big out there. It looks like Cochran really might be just going for it again. You may never guess. With the win, he now finds Ruda. 40 seconds in the first period, looking off to get a goal. Here's Marginsell, gets to McNabb. Deep pass to Eichel. Eichel right over into the look around. Armshav, stop made by Cockroden. 11.6 seconds in the first period. That's the 2-1 lead. Might be looking for another goal if they can take one in there. But it might be hard enough to try to keep it out. And now for the win. Here's Addison. And Ruda gets to Zanina. Oh! Big slam down on a shark defense! And there's your first period. Two goals for the Sharks and one goal for the Knights. We'll get to the second period when we come back after this. Welcome back to Vegas. We're about to start things off for the second period. A 2-1 game for the Sharks 2. And one for the Knights. Let's have a great recap in between of how they did, guys. Well, this was a lot harder than I was expecting to see what they were really seeing it before. This was a lot better harder than Pack. This motion was not really easy enough, but they were really trying to make them maintain. I never know what happened to Alex Perchangelo. He went really badly from the board. I don't really know what to tell you now, but this was really a tough, hard hit. But hopefully he'll be okay. And here he's come with the faceoff. Sharks still have a one-point lead over the Vegas Knights. Here's the win as Emerson gets to Zetterlin. Zetterlin on his way down. Make a spin wrap. Goes to Hurdle. Hurdle shot. Save by Hill. He's making good out there. But the contact I was really looking for, it's just really how hard it goes. But they really are impressionating bad. I must say that this was a lot harder to make a challenge out of it. But it was not really easy enough to try to like keep him like out of the same sight. I never noticed when this was going to happen like that. But it's a really hard one. But he is trying to do his best. A favorite. 
do it for me. <laughs> yep, definitely what we're all calling for now, cool beast. We're making a feel right. Yep, definitely what the true is. Zetterman on 201. Shot. What a save made by Hill. Ferraro gets the Emerson shot. Another big save by the goaltender. Zetterman had that back. He off the crossbar. Emerson. Oh, nice hit for a start of Hill and a second period of the game. That may be a hard one to tell, but I am not really supporting on the Sharks. If they get the goal, I would be upset right now. Oh, well, don't take it away from that. If you know how to play the gamble. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Here's another one for the Vegas Knights. Hurdle takes the puck turnover. Here finds Amberson. Amberson trying to look for open room. On his way down. Back in. Stop made by Gill. Here's Zettelin. He'll have that puck in possession. Kicks him. Kicks the puck. Loses the possession. Grant on his way down. Loses the lower one. And Stephenson get back to Peter over again to Howden. Here he comes. 2-1. Stop me, boys. Cochran. Duclair gets it over again to Grandland. Lose that puck and bounce. Over to Stone. With a big away and gloved up by Cochran. 15.46 to go in the second period. We're still looking for our hit run scores to keep their game up. Now they're ready to do this one again. Sharks have a one point lead over to the Knights. Theodore shot. Great save by Cochran. Brandon give it again to Addison. On the line advantage match. Vegas are back into the offense now as McNabb has it. Carlson to Theodore. Takes a smash hit. That one takes the clog out of it. Luda give over to Gremlin. Over to the left wing. Sharped off to Declare. He went down and this one went wide. The Knights are putting a lot of a whole full kits into a pressure. Maybe this is because they were putting it right in between for medieval times because they were really saying that the the Sharks on the other team will have that position. I don't think they never did it like that the other way because that's what the old East Coast does. Ruda passed to Zip Declare. Declare on the battle range. Hutton has that. Kick the puck over. Now Carlson will have it. Pass again to Cotter. He finds another way to get right around this. Shot! In off the goalpost! He went down. Hudden lost that puck. No penalty gaining on Vegas. Oh, here comes Koonin. And he'll make a great save with under 13 minutes to go. It's still a close game. Two ones to score for the Sharks as they still up by one. The win puts up for the Sharks. Burrow shots blocked. He went wide. Zettel and recovers it. Here's Hurl. Oh, made a stop by Gill. Mernes with the puck. Over to Barbashev. He now on the big way chain by Eichel. Eichel can't find anybody. San Jose back in the offense. Zettel and is back away. Right to Eklan. That shot went wide and hit off the board. For Changelo. Give off to Marchinsall. Marchinsall gets crashed down. Al Kaito over it again to Burroughs, and now Eichel takes the puck. Recover by Gurdle. Now finds Ederlin. Over on the Smith. Shot! Save me by Hill. That was really a hard one that Hill was trying to pick a pad save. This really is going to turn off that big. I couldn't tell that it was really like how hard this is. But it may have been a change up if they were going to be a, like a, a tough one in bounds. I mean, that is really a tough one that everybody has been going for. Carpenter right into the right wing. Pass again to Stern. Stern shot. Hill makes a save. 10-18 left to go in the second period. They're still trying to look for help. Number one for the Vegas Knights and for the Sharks. Face off is coming on. 
What a win. Here's McNabb. McNabb lost the puck. And Roy has it. On a breakaway chain of battle, passing the midway mark. And that's saved me quickly by Kaepernick. The Knights still have El Kosar. What a save by Kaepernick. Smith right over now into the Vegas territory. McNabb has it. Trying to battle for the loose puck as Kerr has it off. Trying to go for the attack angles. He finds Kosar. Block that shot. Sturm has it across in the center. McNabb still has it out. Pass to Stone. And Tefido. Off again to Stephenson. Passing has been broken up. Emerson to Hoffman. 8.20 left to go in the second period. They're still trying to fight back with that one trailing by one. They need to do something else of a big favor, but they've got to do some, a lot of a respection to go as perspective way. They need to do something else about it and then try to get into it. Here's Kun with the puck. Kunin right into the right wing. Ruda with a shot. Save me by Hill. How and give over to Vito with only 7.20 to go. Oh, he went down. No penalty on San Jose. Well, they're still looking out after it, and I'm really not even expecting of what's going to happen now. But the next thing is, they're going to need to like just keep this thing over, and then try to keep it out. They've got to do something else about it, and they can't get away with this. Fires a shot. That one hit off the block there now, and it's Howden it has it. Here comes White Clap. Seven's in right over again to Hutton. He went down. Zetterlin on the one-on-one -on -one move. Fans, this hearing for Zetterlin. Nice save by Hill. He's going to stop here with just under six minutes to go in the second period. I never noticed what this is a big sharp takedown. And this was really a hard one to smash out. We also have this Alex Petrangelo. He has a shutdown ability here for some defensive up play to make them retain and then take all of his responses. He might have it all here for Petrangelo if he could try to like take him down and then try to pull him out. I'll try to watch on him if he can get right into this and try to pull up with the lockness. Cochran makes a save here and it's now down to 534 left to go in the second period. Officials are getting set here ready for another face off. It's 2-1, Sharks. San Jose wins the faceoff. Kuros gives it over again to Eklund. Here's Eklund. He's on his way on the attack bound. There's Zetterlin. Oh boy, another big save. That's going to be a hit one. They're making it clean. They're making it kick. Got to try to take him out if they can. March itself with the puck. Tries to give up again. Deflected all for the way as Barbershev takes it over back to Eichel. And Eichel has it out again to Martinez. Shot way high off the mark. Oh, the rebound has been ticked out. On side to go over again to Eklund. Here's Burroughs. Burroughs on his way in. McNabb has it across again to Carlson. He lost that one as Connor has it. Looking right around the net. With the pass across the shot. Oh, it's Cochran and save. Big saving out there is going to be a hard one to take. That is a big pressure to take that inbound. You will pay for this, Sharks, if you try to dare us. Here's Connor with the puck. Shot stopped by Cochran. Three or three left to go in the second period. Coming down to a three minutes mark. Still a lot of time left in this period. Vegas are trailing by one. Here's Ruda. He backed again to Declare. Declare lost that puck. Hold on. And bound. Oh, Hill got that one in time. And they make another save here. That big. And they're ready to do another face off. 
It's still a 2 1 game for the Vegas Knights and for the Sharks. The win for Addison. But inbound! Oh, nice big save by Hill with just 2 3 1 left to go. He's still getting up clean. I'm thinking that Hill might be a big star of the game. Another win for the Sharks. It is Addison on a nice big touch save by Gill. The Golden Knights are back in the offensive zone and Carlson, no way to get around it. Danina trying to look for help. Brandon, under two minutes remaining in the second period. A big pass to Declare. Inbounding shot. Oh, it's another big save by Gill. Buck leaves the zone in the Vegas territory. In Shark territory is Ruda. He give a pass over again. Oh, he went smashed down. Now find Stephenson. Stephenson on his way in the middle, and he got bumped up. Last minute remaining in the second period, and it's still trying to keep him out. And now Hutton has that puck. Tries to look for help, and Stone has it. The late penalty has been whistled as Conan and it gets him a cross of a slashing. And now they're ready to take the Vegas power play. This is what happens now. You can't mess this up. That's what happens. You don't get away with it. The Knights are on a power play. It's still a 2 1 game and they're trying to look from here. And with the win for the Sharks, as Ferraro will have to take the puck out of here. Tries to give it off that clear, looking for short handed one. That Roy takes it over. And they come back down. 15 seconds in the power, in a regulation period. 130 in a power play. Barbashev, will they do it? Oh, it just missed off the target of the net. That was going to be a hard one. I did not really see what was going to happen. While the penalty kill's still there, we've got the third period coming up. Two to one's the score. We'll be right back after this. We all come down to the third period in Vegas. As the power play continues, we hope you're having fun with us. And this one's going to be a great day to be here at hockey. As always, I mentioned it to say before, but it was a fun one. While they're still on the power play, it looks like they can try to do is they can try to tie the game or, or the Sharks to be kicked on it. They might be just saying that they could go for it again. But I don't know what will happen because they're just trying to give it up quick. Really easy enough to say right now. It's a, it's a great way to just join in. Just make that community go in between. And for the Vegas Knights, they're a really good professional team and they're trying to do this on their own. And I've got a great feeling for them. They can definitely do it anytime. Peter Orr! Rebound stop made by Cogodin! 35 seconds for the Vegas power play. As they still continue, here comes Eichel. And now Carson. Inbound save me! In middle, stops him down. And it looks like that Vegas are in a full pressure. Looking to beat the power play run as they give up the margin so Here's Fedor! Rechecking! Not going to make it through. And that is it. The Vegas Knights is over with the power play as they keep them out of sight. They're keeping the bait right now and I've never seen what was going to happen like that. They really are trying to like keep it out of the range in sight. They really want to like try to stop them. This is a hard one to take. Nobody wanted to get away with it. I never know what Zandina really did. It really has to turn like no camera was focused on here. And I could see what happened. It might have been flipped over and it might be bad for him to let him go by. They are ready for an hour face off. And right now there, Chucks still have a lead with a 2 1 game. Vegas wins the face off. Marnes shot went wide. We're going to try to hold on. Granlin tries to take it over. In center is Grenland. Right towards inbound, fires a shot. Stop by Gill. Borchangelo with the puck and now finding Barbashev. 
He's now into the right wing. Tries to look for more room in the shot. Oh, it just went stopping bound. Barbashev, not enough to get there as Declare takes it. He's on a run looking for 2 on one to beat. Martinez takes it away now mark itself. Swings by, finds Eichel. Looks at it again to Barbashev. Marcusel recovers it. Eichel on the back. And he scores! Guess who's back? Mr. Eichel. It's his biggest night. 181 goals. You've got to admit that one a good one. I can't even tell that it's a great way to say that Jack Eichel had that just slip out and from the side of the net it turned out great. That one turned to be like it's a tough one to take in bounds. But not for long, that is all it does take out. What a great help. Michael and the team are tied up right now with two and are looking to get more than try to pull in with the kits. It's great now to do this all over. Yes, that's true. Eklund. Out same gives it over to Hurdle. Hurdle right way over into the right wing. Inbound. Hornets takes a spill. Takes the pass over to Sevenson. 5, 40, 15, 45 left to go in the third period. Looking middle. Cochran makes another save. He now finds it over again to Potangelo. He bounced shot made by Cochran. We're done with the puck here with just another shot on goals in the game. 41. Stone has it back. Tries to keep him bound. And a good block by the defensive on the Sharks. Sevenson out and shot. Oh, the pack saved here by Kakonen. And back again to Ruda. He now finds Hurdle. Hurdle trying to look it over. And pass back again to Zetterlin. Zetterlin up. Save. Oh, no. It went in. That one turned it over. And they have back the lead up. Zetterlin with the goal. It's now 10. Oh my, I thought that was going to be him, but it was a tough one. Yep, look at that trick. You got to make a connection there and you get it off to Feeder and Sutherland. He made that one up here and just hit the shoulder and it went up and over behind the goaltender. Wow, I did not see that what was going to happen like. It's great enough that Spina and Zetterlin had that one with the back on the shot. He made this trick one easier to deal with the Zetterlin on the shot. It's really a hard one to take, but this pressure wasn't even tough enough to be brave enough if he had that one all coming down. But that was a hard one to, to leave off the pressure one. This score was really turned to be like a hard one to maintain it. But keep in mind there that he might have it all of it if he wants to get right into work. I'll see what happens. If there's another goal, come to the Back to you. With that one, we have a, an update going on for right now as Zendina's in the uh, locker room. Yes, I have to tell them right now because Zendina might have that one a lot of a pro problem with the concerns of it. But from he has his medical attention right now into the locker room, unfortunately, he will be out of the game and he has suspended right now. So that will be for the next part of the season to keep for the next game alive. I'll try to watch on him, and that will be the hard one to maintain. All right, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate you all. We wish you all a speedy recovery for the San Jose Sharks to keep you in line. Post the pressure to Zendini. Off in with the fucking now find Gremlin. Now finding over. He went flicked out. Peter has that puck, and now in fin sight to Amadio. Amadio over and out to Fedor. Deep on the pass to Eichel. Looking to get the shoot. And that went wide. And Cochran get back to Burroughs. Here's Huffman. Two on one opportunity. Duclair on a shot. Way wide. Rebound by Huffman. Battling for the loose puck of the chain. Tries to keep it on as McNabb takes it over to get to Amadio. 11 minutes gone by in the third period, and it's still a 3-2 lead. Trying to tie it! No, it's still stopped by Cochran. 
Oh, what a move by Carter! And a shot! Oh, it's Cochran in! He'll never save! That's a big one to try to keep the Sharks tight together! You never noticed that it was going to be like that, and I can't even tell it was really that tough. Wow. Cochran really just never know how he could save it like that. It's a big one. What a night. Here's Smith. Shot stop made by Gill. Nearing down the midway mark of the period, it's still a 3 2 game. Officials are getting set here, ready for the faceoff. Faceoff win as Emerson holds that puck. And a shot! Love great by Hart Hill. Just 10 07 to go. They're still trying to tie this game, they're looking to get an answer back. Now they're doing it on face-off, coming in. With the win, here's McNabb. Pass again. Kyder with the puck. On a settle inbound. Lost that one. Smith, try to stop him out. Sturm takes it over. He gets punched out. Ferrara finding Carpenter. 9.30 to go in the third period. Trying to hold it up. The rebound the shot stopped by Hill. Got that quick in time. Now they're ready for another face-off, again and again. Really make to keep that clean if they wanted to do another face-off. The win puts up for McNabb, and now finding Theodore. Theodore passed to McNabb, now finds Amedio. Amedio lost that one as Ferraro takes it. Nine minutes remaining in the third period. Passes, and Cotter takes that puck away. Pass to Fiedor. He's on his way down. Tries to make a move. And Sabre comes up by Cochran. Carpenter with only 8.25 left to go. Oh, he took a stick it. Smith, oh, Hill made a save on this one. And Stevens in with the puck. Really made that clear. You got to give that Hill a lot much room. He made that one really easy enough, and there was a goaltender coming in right away. You got to make the alert call because that puck is like flying fast. The faceoff is coming up for the Knights and the Kraken. Nope, the Sharks. Emerson with the puck. 7.43 left to go, and it clears out. Vegas back in transition. Martinez give over to get a stone. San Jose has that puck, and Zetterlin have that one across. They're still disliking him. And Hurdle have that puck. He finds Zetterlin. Zetterlin, and their team carries offside. 7.02 remaining in third period. We do have the winner. Let's take you over to fan. Tomas Hurdle really had that with a, a great percentage right now. They may maintain it. They've really been doing a lot of that lately. And they've done great work out uh, here for the passing and this effectiveness in between for the zones of the arc. He's doing really well for all periods out there. Give it up to Tomas. And Hurdle, a great thumbs up to, to salute for the strikes. Mardez with the puck. Fire! Shot stopped by Cochran. 6-22 left to go in the third period. It's still coming to be a 3-2 game. Now they're ready to do another face-off again. It's a 3-2 game and 6-22 left to go. Now Zeller will win it. And here's Hurdle. Over to Eklund. Eklund right toward the middle and trying to watch out for him inside of Bad and Bound. Oh, two! What an amazing stop for this time of under six minutes. I never knew it was going to be happening like this, but I guess that turned out to be a really tough one, and you know. Wow. The win for the Sharks. Rudolph, glove safe by Hill. 5.46 remaining in the third period. Looking for another face-off win for the Vegas Knights. Win for the Sharks. 
Here's Addison. Oh, put a stop made by Gill. Hurdle. Back to Addison. He now finds Eklund and now into the center of it. He goes in. Shot went wide. Zetterlin fighting now. Find over Retta. Addison trying to make a cross step. Eklund. The Addison shot. Stop again by Gill. He finds Addison shot. What? Addison blocked again and he went went down. Zetterlin comes in for help. Shot. Ooh. That's half down as Hill made that save. And it's tough one to go down to 441 to go. Really might have to do another one again. They have to go for retreat. You have to brace it up. You must show up. That's what they gotta do. McNabb with the puck. Vegas are back in into the Sharks territory. Deep and over the Howard and Shaw. Oh, Cockroach made another big save. Stone takes the puck. Howard it on the backhand. He makes it and he scores. He finally receives his goal. It's now a tie game. They made a comeback and Brett Howden had it all. You really know that Brett Howden really had that one with the goal. When you go with that move, you got swinging power. That technique was excellent work, and I am really impressed at how this turned out. The Vegas Knights are tied up with the San Jose Sharks with just only 4 of 4 to go. Another win comes in. Here's Hoffman with under 4 minutes gone by. So, will they try to take the team for a lead? No, that one's stopped again by Cochran. Here's second stand shot. Do you guys him? Out in. Nobody over on the backside of the slot had an open pass. Off in. Ferraro's got that puck. San Jose on his way down to the Vegas territory. Off in. Try to roll it around and Ferraro. Step in the middle. Near the slot. That stopped again by Stephenson. Stone trying to go right for the back slot. 235 left to go. Go for Ewing. And Cochran makes a save. 2.30 left to go in the third period. And it looks like they're tied up. Maybe this could be the overtime. I just never saw that. But Hoffman was got slapped out. And it looks like that would have to be a revenge. But no penalty called on Vegas. I mean, come on, man. What are they going to do? We don't know. Well, I, mean, I guess you may have to say it. Now or never. You may never know it. Here's Emerson, he will have that one in the middle. Near the right wing. On shot, stop by Gill. Peter recovers that puck. Golden Knights are back in transition right now with under two minutes remaining. Now back to Ferraro. Eklund right into the center. He finds Zetterland, shot, nice stop made by Hill. Eklund in the battle of the range puts on going. McNabb and now Admedio will have that puck in range. Tries to feed a slot. Delete and he scores! How do you like that, Admedio? That's his first goal. All does now because the video really has that one slipped out. Great goal. Make that clear and you got it all through. That's what the leadoff turns out. He just got him through the legs. No penalty, no problem. They are back in the lead. A video with 17 goals in this game. Now they're trying to see if the Sharks can take it back because the Knights are back in front. Eichel wins the face off and Martinez lost that puck. Here comes Zetterland. To tidy up. Oh, they cannot pick it up. Margin Salt with the puck. Tries to go from bait, and he makes a stop. Margin Salt with the puck. 30 seconds. Archangelo finds Eichel. Shot stopped again by Cockwooden. 25 seconds. Everson and the team is winding down. Hoffman is going to bring an extra man on. No time left. They got to get to do something. Hurdle. He loses the puck. Barber's jab! He will fire it, and that will end here!
that's what happens now. Ivan Barbashev, he really adds that all. And he says, see you later. That goes with a whip off, and he just made that goal. The fans are on their feet. The Vegas Knights are putting up a great win to beat the Sharks out of here. Five to three is your final score. And the last one is over. One more face-off left for the Sharks and the Knights. And that is it. Vegas takes a spill with a win over the Sharks. They have finally win their game. And this was not easy enough how well they done. Well, because of what happens now, they've been really saying that Hill was being doing the best. Not for Thompson, it was all dust turned out. It's a great way to make the win, and we also the fans really enjoyed this. With me, Terry Cruz, along with Son of Beast and Cool Beast, this has been a presentation of the Rival Week of NHL. Thank you for joining with us. See you next time. Alright, time for the three star players of the game. It looks like there are no third star player that will start off from here for the Vegas Knights. As the second star will be Jeff Eichel with the first goal and two hits. All does turn out for the rebound to take over. Then, your first star player of the game, it just happened to be Iden Hill. 50 saves. Just made up and big here if you know how to do it. With some total stuff combinations in between, there are no penalty recalls for, and only two minutes has been appearance for the San Jose Sharks. And nothing for Vegas Knights. But it was 27 over 22 face-off wins for San Jose Sharks. 92 over 94 to passing for the Vegas. Then it was the time on attack. 653 over 617. There were 46 over 39. And your total shots was 57 over 53 for Vegas. So I guess I hope you enjoyed this one. Not bad at all. I guess this one's fantastic. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it for the another rival week. And we'll see you all back again for another game of the regular matchups. Peace out, folks, for a while. As the rival week of NHL 24 dial. This is Test Tube signing out. Goodbye, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.